But as we're a channel that's in favour of free speech, I'm delighted to be joined by Just Stop Oil supporter Dr Kush Neka, um, who I hope may try and defend the ridiculous behaviour at Lords today. What possible service did that provide to anybody? Well, Jacob, you just described the Independent Climate Change Committee as fanatical, and you described Just Stop Oil as fanatical. What is fanatical about wanting a livable future? What is fanatical about saying that we need to end new oil and gas? That is the exact same thing that is being said by the United Nations, by the International Energy Agency, by the IPCC. We're, you we're seem to be one of the only people who seems to think that we need new oil and gas. We're going to have new oil and gas. I wonder why that we're, might be. We're going to have new oil and gas, whether it comes from the UK or it comes from Saudi Arabia and Russia. You want to make the Saudis and the Russians rich. No. Literally in the today's Climate the Change Committee report, it says that we will need oil and gas yeah. for years to come until we get to net zero. But so, that does not so justify we've got to new for it. The oil development. And we should have our no, own I'm saying that we resources. need to reduce the amount of oil and gas that we're using so but that we, we should can use, use the oil own, and gas that we've got. We should use our own supplies. As we now, but what were your fanatical as we transition friends... To, to what were your fanatical friends at the cricket doing this morning? What possible benefit did that have? That just makes you look like Looney Tunes, doesn't it? Well, it's got me talking on this programme today. Yeah, but about it the hasn't won crisis. you any support. You were roundly booed at Lords, and Johnny Bairstow, who dropped that hooligan over the boundary, was widely cheered. Well, would you like to talk about how important action on the climate crisis is? Well, that's we, what I'm here to talk about. We're delighted, delighted that you're here. But what I'm saying is that we can't just win, wish the end without practical means. And we can't get Jacob, to the end by making people cold doctor. and poor. My job is to protect the health of my patients and so the health of the, of the population. Well, I hope you're not going on strike, which and most of the doctors know, seem to be doing. We know that new oil and gas is the biggest threat to health that we are going to see in our lifetimes. But you've just contradicted yourself, because a moment ago you accepted we were going to need oil and gas for many decades to come. Where's that coming from if we're not allowed to get new oil and gas? We need the supplies. That's part of the transition. No, we need to reduce demand. We need to reduce our dependence and our addiction on fossil fuels. But we that might is as well what we have, say. We might as well have a domestic supply as a foreign supply. That's good for the British economy. It actually reduces emissions. We need it doesn't to have stop to be the supply of oil and gas while we transition to a just Well, a moment ago, future, you said you wanted to reduce the demand. We need to rely on wind, on solar, on... Yeah, but we haven't road. got there yet. And when the wind doesn't blow, do you want our lights to go out? Jacob, how much money have you got invested in oil and gas? Me? I don't have any money invested in oil and gas. Your, your cheap but tricks to try and assume people are talking their own books just wrong. So do you not, that was, that do you was not a mistake. Think that was that almost as silly as your protest got any money invested Lords. in oil and gas that you take dividends from, including Russian gas companies? I didn't take any dividends from Russian gas companies. That's just a lie. So you want to come on here and I, tell I, lies. Why don't you stick to was, the facts? It was widely reported... You, that what? Somerset Capital has got money in Russian gas All companies of... that you took £600,000 in dividends so, from. Just because things are reported doesn't make them true, and Somerset Capital does not invest its own money. It has clients. So I don't have any money in Russian oil and gas. That was a lie. Very nice to have you. Continue but... your foolish protests, because you make the argument for net zero worse. Your fanatics do real damage to a case that has some logic behind it in other areas.